We are with uh, Felipe Nasser from uh, the Sauber Formula One team. Felipe, welcome back to Montreal. Uh, this is your second visit with Sauber. How did uh, how did your race go here last year? Well, uh, well, first of all, thank you. It's nice to be back here. Uh, I think it's one race I want to change. Uh, I, let's say not to change, but to have a better outcome this year. Uh, I did face some brake problems last year, so uh, I had to do a lot of brake saving during the race. Uh, this year, I would say we have the weather, might be playing a bit, so um, for all the fans that are coming, I would say bring your jackets, because uh, it's going to be needed. Uh, it's pretty chilled here, a bit cold as well, but uh, I'm pretty sure the show will be nice on Sunday and have a bad outcome as well. You, you mentioned brake saving last year. Uh, this track is known for being really hard on brake. How, how marginal is it on braking? Or you can go flat out or you really have to brake, save the brake again this year? Well, the, the, the brake saving is needed, let's say. Uh, the problem last year, I had the brakes overheating uh, for, for more than what we expected. So that's why I suffered more last year. With the, cool, with the cooler temperatures, it should be minimized. The way uh, maybe not even required to do any, any brake saving. So... Let's see. Uh, you guys coming from Monaco, uh, and I don't want to go into the details of how your race went there. It was a bit uh, difficult for you and your teammates. Uh, but you go from the, sh the slowest track of the, of the season to one of the fastest here with the long straightaways. Uh, is there an adjustment as a driver that you need to do going from the slowest track to the fastest track? Well, I think it's... Uh Naturally, it happens already, because um, once you go out here, you have this big long straight stop speeds are high and a lot of uh, deceleration coming from a very high speed to a very low speed so uh, naturally you you as a driver you get prepared yourself even before sitting in the car uh, you know to, to visualize all these changes of track and characteristics so uh, uh, it's a track that I enjoy doesn't give us much room for error as well because you know the walls are very close but uh, it's fun you know it's a, it's a good one to drive. When you drive for Sauber which is arguably a midfield team um, Montreal always seems to to catch a lot of people giving an opportunity to people that are usually farther that back down the grid is this a race when you drive for Sauber that you come in here and you say listen we, we can have a chance here of having a, a better result than normally would be expected? Well, we always have to believe on that, depending on the, on the situation or track. Uh, the, the thing is, we know if it's a normal dry race weekend, we know where our performance is, which is a bit far back on the grid. But if the weather changes and it, it can mix up things, you know, I'll be, it, it will be welcome. You know, any opportunity uh, might come as well. Well, Felipe, we thank you for your time. We wish you the best of weekend. And maybe if you have a few words in Portuguese for uh, Portuguese-speaking fans. Bom, aqui vai um abraço meu a todos os fãs e a toda a torcida brasileira. Se vocês moram aqui no Canadá ou não, aqui vai um grande abraço e que aproveitem o final de semana. Thank you so much.